Sarah, my final question for you is, what three specific tips you can give to job seekers in order to elevate their job search? Oh, I love this question. Um, number one, uh, create meaningful contributions to your field by posting on LinkedIn. Um, this is where people are going to pre-search candidates, approach candidates. Um, it is almost, if you have a professional job, which I'm sure so many of your listeners are, are, are you know, knowledge leaders, um, people will be going to your LinkedIn profile. And if you are sharing thought leadership, um, they will want to see that. They'll also want to see if you're sharing posts. So if you don't see yourself as I'm not a writer, um, you can you can share some of your tips, you can share quotes, um, all of that. And also, of course, be sharing other thought leaders' ideas. It gives people uh, confidence that you are committed to your field mm -hmm. and that you are relevant. The second thing I would recommend is that you are very active in your association or associations. So let's say you're a human resources professional, get involved in your local chapter, become a volunteer, then get on the board, then become part of the, you know, maybe even the national, um, you know, uh, board and be really involved. Let A, people will come to know you and you'll probably be offered jobs. And also um, it gives you an opportunity to, um, to be able to, uh, you know, demonstrate your commitment to your field. The third thing that I would recommend, and back to LinkedIn, is that you can leverage so many of the features of LinkedIn that you may not be using um, already. Change your thumbnail by going on Canva, C-A-N-V-A, so that it has your name and your, your email address, so it's really easy for people to contact you. It builds the contact page. Um, put videos and pictures of your accomplishments under your jobs, not just just list it, but actually put those pictures. Make sure the first 30 words of your LinkedIn profile are the words that people are looking for in your field. Connect, I think you're allowed to have 50 connections every single day on LinkedIn. Connect with 50 new people on LinkedIn every single day. So fully exploit this um, tool. And you don't have to, all the tips I provided, you don't have to pay a penny. Yes. Uh, a lot of LinkedIn will encourage you to to upgrade your, um, you know, your subscription. And maybe that's a good idea for you for this year. By all means, do it. And you can do a lot. Most people are not fully leveraging their contacts, reaching out to people and making sure that their their intellectual property, their their thought leadership and their profile puts the best foot forward. It should speak, it is the biggest, juiciest resume, yeah. uh, LinkedIn. So use it as such. Yeah. And as, as, I, as I always say to other people or people that I'm working on, be authentic there. People want to see you, your ideas, your thoughts, your videos, and make sure that you're aware and be there. And especially nowadays with LinkedIn stories, you can also put some back stories on how things are happening with you. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And with that, Sarah, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to interview you. I really had enjoyed the conversation. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips for job speakers, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for another great speaker I'm preparing. Sarah, I wish you all the best and let's keep in touch. Bye. Thank you. Sounds good. Bye-bye, everybody. Good luck.